last night on The Bachelor. My truest intention was just to stick up for a friend. No, 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 no. that's not what it was. Because you you know, just never you, liked Maria, you, you, that's what it was. Sydney never liked Maria from the start, and she always said, told Leia to shut the up. I never said it. Because I said it, I said it. <laughs> I'm the one that said shut the up, yeah, I said it. Oh. Like, we communicate, like, just so right. Different. I speak the truth, and you make up lies. You're oh. absolutely right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Right. Oh, oh. 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 Welcome to another week of The Bachelor, where this time we're getting the women tell-all, plus some actual footage that includes Joey and Kelsey's meetup after her We Need to Talk note, and also the final three rose ceremony. But before that goes down, Jesse Palmer is here to bring back all the women from the season that'll have you going... Evelyn! Oh, and you know Leia, Sydney, and Jess are here to watch as the crowd goes absolutely wild when Maria's name gets announced. And Maria! Wow, if the editing is any indication, they're making their next pick for The Bachelorette less inconspicuous than this dog trying to fit in on this plane. Now as this tell-all starts, they throw in this segment where Jesse Palmer and Joey go to visit a bunch of Bachelor watch parties, where I get reminded of what I have to tell my extended family at Easter dinner when they ask what I spend all my time doing. But alright, enough of this fluff, we're here to see these ladies answer for their crimes against humanity. And it all starts off pretty quick when Jesse cuts to that footage of Leia getting that steal a one-on-one -on -one card, where she says this. I feel like I, I struggle in these settings because I am such a girl's girl, I want to empower other women. Cause in five seconds flat, Maria's out here shutting down any iota of Leia coming out to say she threw that card in the fire for anyone other than herself. No one's upset that you threw it in the fire, I think. A lot of us respected you doing that, yeah. but acting like you did it for us as women yeah. in the house, that's where the problem yes, lies. Exactly. Yes. Which then gets a number of women calling out Leia for putting on a performance. Because she said she was a girl's girl to their face, but now they've seen the show and the way she talked behind some of their backs. Y'all didn't talk about anyone? No, we I didn't say that we're girls girls and we didn't say that we're leading with our right. heart. We're being real and we're being honest throughout the whole situation, so it's not That's the same. Right. That's right. Right. And I mean, this Girls Girls segment had me in whiplash, wondering if this was ABC, or did I accidentally turn on the Love is Blind reunion? Like, it was really frustrating to hear you call yourself a girl's girl. You were never a girl's girl. He, ever, honey. He, oh. And you sat there and told me that I'm not a girl's girl? You're what? not. This then turns to Medina telling Leia it was frustrating hearing her say she's a girl's girl after Leia pulled Medina aside to tell her how to act and how to be a proper friend to Sydney by not being friends with Maria. At the end of the day, I can be cordial and friends with Sydney. Maria, I can be friends with the <laughs> Dalai Lama if I want to. <laughs> Medina then asks for an apology, to which Leia is like, I hear that like wholeheartedly. Um, and I am very sorry that you felt that way. Ah, uh, the classic non-apology, I'm sorry you felt that way. But Leia says that Medina then took that conversation and, according to Leia, falsely told Maria that Leia said to not be nice to her. I never but said that. But that was the conversation. When I came back from my two-on-one, I walked into the most silent room I've ever walked into. No one was happy for me. But Medina looked at me and said, you look beautiful. And that's a problem? But then, Jesse Palmer brings up one of the biggest accusations against Maria this whole season. That, at some point, Maria told Leia to shut the F up. However, plot twist... I said it. What? <laughs> Yeah, I said it. No, they got the wrong white woman with black hair. And Lauren, well, Lauren is not afraid to say it was her and to say it with her chest. She was telling me to practice patience and to be quiet, super condescending for no reason. Like, wait, 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 hold on, Lauren, Lauren, you said shut the <laughs> up. Yeah. Yeah. This woman was only on for like two episodes and yet she has made her stamp on this season. That's, that's how you punch your ticket to paradise. I don't care that the comment was made, honestly, But anymore. you did care. No, yeah, you brought did. It up you to brought it. I just don't want it to, I just don't want to feel gaslit. What? Oh, because... Oh, 
Alright, we need to ban that word from this franchise the way it gets thrown around. Well, after this, Jesse Palmer takes a commercial break, and as he does that, Leia goes off in tears. But once she returns, Maria then runs over to give her a hug, where Leia tells Maria she's sorry, only for Sydney to then chime in. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry, Leia. You have every right to feel that way. Oh, if you've got something to say, Sydney, don't worry, you're up next. As things then move on to the accusations of Maria being a bully, where here Sydney remarks that her truest intention in all of that was just to stick up for her friend Medina. No, 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 that's not what it was. Because Sydney never liked Maria from the start, and she always said it was the age. It was never the age. Oh, and when Jess then chimes in and says, why do you assume she just didn't like her, Edwina shuts that down fast. I saw it, I was in a house, I observed everything that was going on. What was and it I then? Sat Give an and example. I was quiet. I saw everything in the house. So don't try to stop me from saying what I feel. Yeah. Don't need to be a lip reader to know what word they were censoring there. Bitch. There it is. Now it's bitch. Yeah, she says bitch. bitch. Stop. Because you are Stop. one. Maria. So now it's Jess's turn as the discussion moves on to Spain and Jess's frustrations with Maria there. Every time I would throw my two cents in, Maria would interrupt but me. I, see, I, I know I just interrupted you. Uh, <laughs> no, I know. Because I'll tell you why. I'm sorry. That pisses me off. Oh no, Maria girl. You've got the whole audience on your side here. Come on. But Maria just, she just can't help herself. She would tell me to shut up, zip it, like no. shush me. I yes, never you told you to, no, I'm sorry. Yes. Yes, you did. No! And this segment becomes impossible to get through as the moment Jess starts talking, Maria goes... Alright, zip it. You, don't, you can't even... Zip it! Zip. Can you please let us get a chance? We've lost time through multiple scenarios. Do you feel like if it was... Can I just say something? Zip it. But you know, before this tell-all, I was thinking, if they're really going to make Maria the Bachelorette, which at this point I believe is the most likely option, Maria just needs to full send it. Don't come into this tell-all like a politician on the campaign trail acting differently. Be the Maria you were on the show and, well, she's doing that. Plus, you know, at the end of the day, Jess is the one who called Maria a bitch. You had extra time with him and I I was so supportive. The same night I was a bitch. It's like there's nothing I can do for you women, you three, perfect seating ar arrangement, but... <laughs> and when it's brought up that some of the animosity this season probably came from Maria's delivery... But is it delivery or is it just someone having an opposite opinion than your yes. friend group? Yes. Thank you. you. It is the delivery. Lexi coming in hot to say it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Well, Jesse now says it's time to move on because they only have two hours here, and so we're gonna get to the hot seat segments. First up is Lexi, who talks about her infertility issues and how much respect she has for Joey for being so kind about it all. She also says it's been amazing seeing the response people have had to her story, including messages she gets from people in the throes of IVF and their own infertility struggles. Then it's Jen's turn where she talks about her family and how the show has helped her mom see her as an adult. It's also brought her and her brother closer together and helped her feel less alone, as others have shared with her similar stories of estrangement from their fathers after Jen shared her story on the show. Then finally, it's time for Maria to hit the stage while the crowd reacts like... <laughs> So here, Maria talks about how wonderful it's been to watch her relationship back with Joey. It was kind of like a friend that you want to make out with, you know? Um, it was easy. Then things come back to Sydney, where Maria says she can get heated when her back's against the wall and her character's in question, while Sydney feels she should have been more resolution-oriented and not pointed the finger so much. At which point, Maria says she feels horrible for the hate that Sydney and Leia have received online, something she does not condone. Regardless, I want to make up, and I do, I do, I, I just want us to be good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, come here. Let's hear it for Maria, Sydney, and Leia, everybody. And all right, I'm gonna do what that fast food hacks guy on TikTok does, and gonna ask you to get real close to your phone or computer or TV right now to listen up to this one. Leia, Sydney, and Jess had balls to show up to this thing. Bigger balls than a lot of quote-unquote villains from past seasons have had, and I actually respect that. And if you're someone who messages these ladies directly with hate... Stop it. Get some help. 
But alright, the show now transitions away from the tell-all for a bit as we return to Mexico to see Joey and Kelsey meet up after Kelsey dropped that we need to talk note. Where Joey is totally freaked out, but Kelsey just pops in to say, I just wanted to tell you how much, um, yeah, I miss you when you're not there. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. Joey, you okay? No. What? Really? That's it? That's what this is going to be? We need to talk so I can tell you I miss you and want to meet your family? I wanted to come here and tell you that. And I wanted to tell you, because I don't know if I said it out loud, that... You know, I do want to meet your family. I don't know if I said it in those words ever. Well, now, Kelsey is a little scared because Joey is a little scared, and that might mean she won't get a rose. And when things get to the rose ceremony, production tries real hard to make it seem like Kelsey could be eliminated, first by showing Joey giving a rose to Daisy, and then... Kelsey? But did you see that? This little rose right here? Still not handed out? Looks like Kelsey actually got the first rose, probably because Joey wanted to reassure her. Either way though, this means that Rachel is going home, as Joey says he just couldn't fully get there with her. I just want her to be okay, and I know she will be, I just want her to know how bad I want her to be okay. They then bring Rachel into the tell-all to sit down with Joey for the first time since Mexico. Hi! How are you doing? Long time no see. I know, good Did to you see enjoy you. that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Well, Joey says that the big reason he made his decision that day was because he saw that Rachel was giving so much, but when it was time for him to give more, he couldn't match her. But the real emotional part of this segment is when Rachel addresses the hateful DM she's been getting ever since Hometowns aired. I've just been getting like a lot of, a lot of like racist comments toward me and just, you know, calling me the N-word or calling me, you know, jungle Asian, all because I got a rose is just... All right, all right, show me who sent those messages. I just want to talk to him. Wait. Why do you have a shotgun? I just want to talk to him. But I'm gonna presume that some of this happened because there were horrific people who wanted Maria to get that rose over Rachel, so they went straight to Rachel's inbox to spread vileness. Which I know Maria wouldn't condone, and is just so wrong. So stop. I want to tell you, I know how hard that is to talk through, but by sharing that, you're going to spread so much light on things that should be spread, because you never deserve that. And from here, the women all praise Joey. Not just for his statement there, but for things like how he reached out to Sydney to make sure she was okay when the show was airing, or just for his genuine kindness while filming. And I mean, it was everyone. This man walked out there and the whole cast went... <laughs> And Joey even stops to ask Kelsey T how her relationship with her dad is going. He apologized for a lot. He's very present in my life now. He calls me. He's trying to meet up. <laughs> but all right, that's the tell-all. Jesse Palmer then finishes off with some unaired footage and some bloopers and stuff, but I don't really care about that, so see you next week. Bye bye So that's it for this recap of The Bachelor Week 10 and The Women Tell-All. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, Comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe to the channel for more content. And, until next time, Bachelor Fan Take, out. Like, we communicate, like, just so right, different. Right, I speak the truth and you make up lies. Oh! Oh! Guess what got me?